What is going on guys, we're back. It's JFC here and today I've got a first ratings prediction video on the channel. I wanted to predict the Arsenal player ratings in FIFA 23 because they've had such a hot start to the season. I really like watching them play and I think they're going to have the most upgrades probably from one team from FIFA 22 to FIFA 23. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, let's start with Aaron Ramsdale in goal. He was a 74 common silver going into the season, and he went for like 30 million in the transfer window last summer. So I'm kind of surprised he was still so low. But honestly, Ramsdale's been a very solid to above average keeper for Arsenal for the past season. His diving gets a plus six. His handling only gets a plus four because I think Ramsdale's worst quality to him is probably his handling. And I think his best is his reflexes. And his reflexes, he went up plus nine from his old card. Plus five positioning, plus four kicking, and plus four speed. Up to an 81 rated goalkeeper. I think he's going to be pretty OP for the first couple weeks of FIFA. And the first center back we've got is William Saliba, the star man. He's been fantastic this season for Arsenal to start with. If he continues the form that he's been on all season, he was going to knock this 81 rating out of the park for sure. Over the fact that he was very good for Marseille last year, I think EA will probably give him like an 80 or an 81 rated. 75 pace, 82 defending, 81 physical. Looks like a guy who would be really expensive and really sweaty for the first couple days of FIFA. Yeah, I would not be surprised if EA gives Saliba higher than this because he's been so good to start the season and he was good last year. But I think they like to be conservative and take their time. My guess is they're going to give him an 81 rated card. Next up is Ben White, who also came for big money in that latest summer transfer window in 2021. And honestly, he's proven to be a very, very solid center back for Arsenal so far. A lot of people were um, shocked that they paid 50 million for him, or whatever it was, 40, 50 million. He's been really solid for them, in my opinion. I think an 80 rated player is very fair. Plus four pays, plus three defending, plus four physical up to a very solid 80 rated center back i think they'll turn him to a gold rare as well i think he's a contender to make the world cup team honestly next up other arsenal signing from last summer transfer window it's gabrielle gabrielle also i think definitely deserving of an upgrade they could do him higher than this but i think personally just gabrielle had a little bit of stretch of last year where he was out of form a little bit i think for the most part for arsenal he's been really good plus three pace plus three defending plus three physical good all around 81 rated give this guy a couple informs give him a tots card he's gonna be so op Next up is our new signing from Man City, Alexander Zinchenko, and I kept Zinchenko the same in terms of rating, but what I would change is I think Zinchenko is a little more technical of a player than what EA gave him credit for. I think he's a better dribbler and passer than that, so I gave him plus two in those categories, and I dropped him one in defending to kind of try and even all that out, because defending it matters more for a left back than dribbling and passing does. But just pace plus one and shooting plus one. I also gave him a four-star skill moves boost from the three-star skill moves he had in FIFA 22, so I would like to see EA gives and check a little bit of a boost. I hopefully hope they give him a center mid-secondary position next year, too. That would be awesome. Next up as a midfielder is Bukayo Saka. Now, Saka to me was pretty underrated by EA going into FIFA 22. I think 80 rated is fine, but honestly, that card just was not really indicative of, I think, how he plays. I think he's much faster than that. I think he's a better technical player than what they gave him for. I think he can shoot a lot better. And I know at last season, he really proved this. But even going into last season, I think people, most people thought 68 shooting and 84 pace was kind of disrespectful. So I really upped it. I gave him 88 pace, 75 shots, 79 passing, 84 dribbling and 67 physical. Also gave him a four-star skill moves boost. I think as an 83 rated Sokka, this is like minimum. I think he could even be 84, in my opinion, next year. I think 83 is an absolute minimum. And I think 88 pace is also an absolute minimum. They got to give Sokka the respect that he deserves. Next up is Emil Smith-Rowe, who has kind of been not necessarily forgotten in the Arsenal team. Definitely not. But he's just kind of been a, a second string to Odegaard recently. But don't forget, Smith-Rowe really did show signs of improving as a player a lot in the 2022 season. Plus two pace on him. Kept him as a cam. Plus four overall as well to an 80 rated. 72 shooting. Up from 64, I think, is, I think 64 shooting at Smith Rowe is, is, is not very good. I don't think Smith Rowe is the best finisher ever, don't get me wrong, but 64 shooting is pretty damn low. 77 passing, 82 dribbling, 63 physical on Emil Smith Rowe. Doesn't look like the best first day card, but a few promo cards, a few informs, you never know. Next up is Martin Odegaard, who has been fantastic this season really come into his own in the Premier League in the last six months or so. I think he at least deserves a plus two to an 84. I think EA could even give him an 85, honestly. I went up to an 84. Plus one pace, but the plus two shooting, the plus three passing, the plus four dribbling on Martin Odegaard. He's just been fantastic. 60 defending, 64 physical. I think another half season of him playing at this level of player, he's going to be an 85, 86, 87 in no time, really. Next up, we have Gabriel Martinelli, who has been fantastic this season as well. I mean, it's no surprise Arsenal's 3-0. They've been dominating teams. All these players are going to look fantastic, but I think especially Martinelli as well. He's really come into his own in the past six months in the Premier League. I think he's rapid. 
but I think 90 pace is at least the bare minimum for Gabriel Martinelli. I also think 84 dribbling is the minimum. Honestly, I think Martinelli is one of the best dribblers in the Prem. I went with four star skills, but honestly, if EA gave him five star skills, I would not complain. And he definitely does. He would deserve it if they gave it to him. They just are very stingy with who they give the five star skills to. 75 shooting, 74 passing, upgrades all around in that card. I think that card's going to be awesome. I think a few informs is going to be sick. I really hope Martinelli gets a leak at least an 81 next year. I think he deserves it personally. Now, if you're wondering why everybody you're seeing is upgraded, because I'm basically only showing the guys who I think are going to get upgraded significantly. Because I could just show you uh, certain guys like Kieran Tierney and Thomas Partey and guys like that, who I think are pre pretty much like the exact same cards next year, honestly. Or maybe one above. I think Partey maybe could get upgraded plus one. But the point still stands that I'm, pr I'm trying to show you guys the most interesting upgrades going into next season. So last but not least, we've got the star man himself, Gabriel Jesus. And I only upped him to an 85. And the reason for that is because he didn't have the best of seasons last year. He's on fire this year for Arsenal already. And I think if you're judging off that, he's not an 85. Because they're going to count in last season a lot for these player ratings. I think an 85 is justified. Only plus one pace, but the plus two dribbling, plus two shooting, plus two passing, pretty much plus twos all around for Jesus. He continues this form up. He's going to be one of the best attackers in the Premier League. The passing has been, has been a really good playmaker so far this season for Arsenal. He's basically the, the, he's the total package. He's basically unlocking Arsenal right now, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch him playing with them this season. Okay, that'll be it for the ratings prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lots of awesome content coming on the channel FIFA 23 not too far away i'm excited if 22 is dead please the lord help me because you guys in this video peace